We will begin our practice by standing in Tadasana, Mountain Pose. Bringing the feet together, press the floor away evenly on the four corners of your feet. By pressing down, lengthen up through the spine, through the crown of the head. Drawing the shoulder blades onto the back, the collarbones brought in. Breathe in and out through the nose. Arda Surinamaskar, half sun salute. Pressing down through your feet, inhale, lift the arms overhead. Exhale and fold, hinging over your hips. Inhale, lengthen the spine, looking forward. And exhale, fold deeply, Uttanasana. Inhale, rise up, arms overhead, palms together. Exhale and bring the hands together at the center of the chest. Inhale, arms overhead, touch. Exhale and fold. Inhale, lengthen the spine, sweeping the chest forward and up. Exhale and fold over the legs. Inhale, rise up, arms out to the side, overhead. Exhale, release the hands. Again, inhale, arms overhead. Exhale and fold. Inhale, lengthen the spine, lifting the chest, looking forward. Keeping the legs straight as you exhale and fold deeply over the legs. Inhale, rising up, pressing down, lengthening through the spine, belly in. Exhale, bring the hands to the center of the heart. Surya Namaskar A, inhale. Exhale and fold. Inhale, lengthen the spine, and exhale, step to plank, top of a push-up. Pressing back through the heels, lift the belly, look forward, and exhale, lower down. Keep the shoulders lifted as you move into Bhunjangasana, Cobra Pose. Inhaling to lengthen the spine, keeping the neck long. Then curl the toes under, lift the hips, downward facing dog, Adho Mukha Svanasana. Stay here for a few breaths. Pressing down into the hands, lift the shoulders up. Lengthen through the spine, allowing the hips to be the highest point. Stretching back through the legs, the heels get heavy. Bend the knees if the hamstrings are tight, trying to keep the hips the highest point. And then exhale, step the feet to the hands, inhale, lift the heart, and exhale, fold over the legs. Come to stand as you sweep the arms overhead, looking up. And bring hands together at the heart. Surya Namaskar A again. Inhale. Exhale and fold. Inhale, lengthen the spine, looking forward, and as you step back to plank, lead with the opposite foot. Pulling the belly in, keeping the spine long. Exhale, bend the elbows, lower down. Inhale, cobra. Press down through the feet, lift the chest, and draw the shoulder blades away from the ears. Exhale, down dog. Breathe. Press down evenly through the entire hand. Lift the forearms up away from the mat. Lift up through the arms. Pull the belly in towards the spine and strongly engage the legs by pressing the thighs back, heels aiming down for the floor. At the end of your exhale, step your feet forward, coming halfway up, lengthening the spine and fold over the legs. Inhale, rise up, arms overhead. Exhale, hands down by the side, bringing them to the heart center. Inhale again, arms up. Exhale and fold, sweeping the chest forward and down. Inhale, lengthen the spine, look forward, step back to plank. Take a breath here and exhale, lower down. Staying strong through the body as you inhale, drawing the shoulder blades back, lifting the chest, 
Exhale, downward facing dog, hips up and back. In, down dog, lengthen the neck. Keeping the shoulder blades drawing towards each other, lengthening through the spine, the belly tones, and then you exhale, step the feet forward, looking up, and use the breath, fold over the legs. Inhale, coming all the way up. Exhale, lower the hands down by the side, bringing them to the heart center. Surya Namaskar B. Inhale. Exhale and bend the knees. Utkatasana, chair pose. Keep the arms down by the side or lift them up. Sweeping the chest forward and up as you pull the belly in. Exhale and fold, Uttanasana. Inhale, lengthen the spine. And look forward, step the right leg back and the left leg coming into plank. And lower down. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. Right foot steps forward, warrior one, virahabdrasana one. Spin the back heel down, and when you're ready, lift the chest, bringing the arms overhead. Taking the tailbone down towards the floor, draw the low belly in, and look up. Lowering down slowly, bending the elbows, sweep the chest forward and up, cobra. Downward facing dog. Yes. And then step the left foot forward, spinning the right heel down. Inhale, come up. Allow the back leg to be strong, lifting the thigh up away from the floor as the front knee bends. Maybe bringing the hands together if the shoulders allow, looking up to the hands, and then exhale, fold, plank. Lower down, cobra. Use your breath. Downward facing dog. Slow, deep breaths in and out. Looking forward, step the feet to the hands. Lift the spine and extend over the legs. Coming up as you breathe in. And exhale, bring the hands together at the heart center. Bringing the feet together. Press the floor away evenly on the four corners of your feet. Breathe in and out through the nose. Standing in Tadasana, inhale, arms overhead. Exhale and fold. Inhale, lengthen the spine, looking forward. Step right foot back, lunge. Bending the front knee to 90 degrees, be strong in the back leg. And slowly lower the knee down. Climbing up, bringing both hands to the left thigh. Take the tailbone down, waistline back, and then lengthen up through the spine as you allow the pelvis to get heavy. Releasing the hands down by the side, inhale, arms up, Anjani Asana. Tailbone down, chest lifts, curl the upper back, pointing the hands up towards the ceiling. Opening the front of the body. Exhale, touch the floor. Bring the hands inside the left leg. Opening up the outer left hip, you'll walk the hands forward, using your breath to assist you as you bring the upper body forward and down. Softening into the space between the shoulder blades. Lifting up the low belly towards the spine to help you extend even more forward. 
lowering down onto your forearms, interlacing the hands, pressing down and forward with the forearms will send the hips back. Breathe. Inhale, walk the hands up to either side of the front foot, lunge. Bring the foot forward, lengthen the spine, and then switch sides, stepping the left foot back, moving into a lunge. Slowly lower the knee down. Climb up onto your right thigh. Taking the tailbone down, lengthen up through the spine, reaching through the crown of the head. Use your back leg for stability as you press back through the heel. Inhale, bring the arms overhead, interlacing the hands and pointing the fingers up. Take the waistline back, supporting your lower back as you lift up through the spine, opening the front of the body. Exhale, fold, touch the floor. L walk the hands inside your right leg. Take your time and use your breath as you lower down, allowing the outer right hip to open. Continue to hug the front shin in. Listen to your body as you lower down to your ability. Soften between the shoulder blades. Keep the gaze of the eyes forward. Breathing into your back body. To come up, walk your hands in, place them on either side of your right foot, lift the back knee, lunge, step forward, inhale, lengthen the spine, fold over the legs. Inhale, come all the way up, sweeping the arms overhead, and exhale, bring the hands to the heart center. Inhale. Lengthen the spine, look up, exhale and fold. Lift the chest, step back, downward facing dog, Adho Mukha Shavasana. Lift the right leg up as high as you can and open the hip. Lift up through the shoulders, especially the left shoulder. And then exhale, bring the foot forward, lunge. We're going to add a twist. Keeping the left hand down, bring the right hand to the hip. Squeeze the hips, drawing the right hip back. And when you're ready, extend the right arm up, stacking the shoulders. Turning deep within. Exhale, bring the hands down, downward facing dog. Lift the left leg up, open the left hip towards the left, lifting your foot as high as you can, stretching through the ball of your foot. Draw the belly in to support the spine as you bring the foot forward all the way to the hands. Lunge. Keeping the right hand down, the left hand moves to the hip and you twist towards the left. Extend the arm up as you're ready. Stretching back through the heel. Keeping the right thigh strong. Lengthen through the spine or the crown of the head and open the body, twisting deeply. Exhale, bring the hand down. Downward facing dog.
Stretch back through the thighs. When you're ready, step the feet to the hands, lengthening the spine as you look forward, and fold Uttanasana. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, hands down by the side, bring them to the heart center. Release the hands. Step the feet out wide for the standing postures, beginning with Uttita Trikonasana, Triangle Pose. Spin the right toes out 90 degrees. Inhale, hands to shoulder height. Exhale, extend out over the right leg, bringing the hand to the floor to a block as your left arm is stretched up. Keeping the leg straight, press through your back leg, draw the belly in, open the chest, and as you're ready, turn your head looking up. Extend through the spine, drawing the shoulder blades strongly on the back. Lift up through the front leg to come up. Spinning the toes forward. Extend the left toes out 90 degrees, moving to the other side. Exhale, reach out over the leg, bringing the hand to the floor or a block. Right arm up. Use the legs for support. As you press down into the feet, lift up through the quadriceps, extending the tailbone down towards the back leg, lift the low belly, stretch through the spine, gaze up towards the top hand. If that bothers your neck, keep the eyes forward. Pressing down, inhale, come up. Moving into Virahabhrasana 2. Warrior two. Bending the front knee. Taking the front knee as low as you can to 90 degrees. Inhale, bring the hands to shoulder height. Draw the waistline back. Squeeze the hips. Extending the front knee over the second or third toe. Gaze out over the right hand. Relax the shoulders away from the ears, bringing the right hand now to the outside of your right leg. Prasvakanasana, extended angle pose. Stretching the left arm up and overhead. Press down to the outer edge of your left foot. Keep the lift up through the leg, turning the belly toward the side and extend through the wrist. Press down, inhale, come up, spin the toes forward. Bring the hands to the hips, spinning the left toes out. Exhale, bend the front knee to 90 degrees. Warrior two. On your next exhale, bring the left hand to the outside of the leg, right hand to the hip, turn open, and when you're ready, bring the right arm up or overhead. Stretch from the outer right foot all the way up through the shoulder and through the wrist into the fingers, bringing the arm close to the cheek as you turn your belly open. Drawing the back body towards the back. Press down, inhale, come up. Spin the toes forward. Interlace the hands behind your back for Prasarita Padottanasana. Wide-legged forward bend. Exhale and fold between the legs. Pull the heels towards each other to tone the inner thighs keeping a lift of the low belly, 
fold as much as you can extending over the legs, allowing the chest to open and the shoulders to stretch. Relax the head. Use the exhales to help you open the back of the legs, the chest and shoulders. Inhale, come up and bring your feet together. Moving into Vriksasana, tree pose. Shift your weight onto your left foot and bring your right foot as high as you can up into the inner groin. When you're steady, bring the palms together at the heart center. To balance, draw the waistline back. Connect the inner sole of the foot to the inner leg, lifting the arms overhead if you wish. Shifting the weight towards the back of the body into the heel. Then exhale, lower the hands to the heart. Release the foot. Release the hands. Shifting to the other side. Standing on your right leg. Lift the left knee up as high as you can. Bring the palms together at the heart. Make a connection to the center of the body, drawing in to the midline. And extend the arms overhead, lifting the chest. As you use the power of the tailbone down, lower belly lifts, extend all the way up through the hands. Gaze up. Then exhale, release the hands to the center of the heart. Release the foot. Release the hands. Tadasana. Stepping back to the front of your mat. Inhale, arms overhead. Exhale and fold. Lengthening the spine. Inhale, look forward. Step back, downward facing dog, Adho Mukha Shavanasana. I'm going to open up the hips. Take the right knee up towards the right wrist for Ekapada Rajakapatasana, pigeon prep. Squeeze the hips towards each other. Lift the low belly and fold over the front leg. To deepen the stretch, press the hands down and forward, which will send the hips back and lower. Keep extending through the spine and soften between the shoulder blades. Breathe into the areas that are tight. Walk the hands in, pressing down, lift the hips up, downward facing dog. We'll transition to the other leg. Bring the left knee up towards the left wrist. The right foot forward. If you have tight hips, the left foot will be closer to the right hip. And then you'll fold over the legs. Press back through the right leg. Lift the belly. Soften in your upper body, unclenching the teeth, relaxing the jaw. Softening the gaze of your eyes. Inhale, walk the hands in. Pressing down, lift the hips up. Dog. T 
Take a full breath in. Exhale, Balasana, Child's Pose. Uncurl the toes, send the hips back, and lower the forehead down to your mat. Breathe into your back body, releasing the hands down by the side, palms up. Inhale, bring the hands forward, press down, lift the chest. Bring the feet forward, preparing for Navasana, boat pose. Balancing on the sacrum, lengthen through the spine, lift the feet up to knee height. Hug in. Extend the arms out, reaching the fingers towards the feet. Lengthening through the spine, tone the low be belly. Ardha Navasana. Lowering down a little bit as you extend the legs. And then place the feet on the mat. Opening up the soles of the feet towards each other. Baddha Konasana. Bring the hands back behind you and lift the chest. Pressing down through the inner thighs to open the hips. You may keep the hands back or bring them to the feet. Lengthen through the spine and then exhale and fold. Draw the back of the pelvis down. Lift the belly in and extend out over your legs. Continuing to draw the shoulder blades down and together on the back. Relax the face. Opening the inner thighs. Inhale, lift the chest. Extend the legs out wide. Upavista Kanasana, wide-legged forward bend. Take the groins back, lift the chest, and fold between the legs. You may keep the hands behind you, take them to the shins, or hook the big toe. By pressing down through the legs, Lengthen the spine forward and lower as your body allows, keeping the back of the pelvis heavy, the low belly lifting to support the low back, and then extend forward and down through the spine. Stretch through the inner legs. Inhale, come up. Bring the legs together, Dandasana, Staff Pose. Inhale, lift the arms overhead, lengthening through the spine, and exhale, fold, Paschimottanasana, Seated Forward Bend. Lift up through the chest, extend through the spine, and exhale, lower over the legs. You may hook the toes or use a strap here to fold deeply, pressing the legs down. Lift the kneecaps up towards the hips, engaging the quadriceps. With the legs steady and strong, you can fold deeper with the upper body. Resting the face between the legs. Stretching the back and using your exhales to allow you to fold deeper, 
changing the grip of the hands as your body allows. Surrender the upper body. To come out of this, press strongly through the legs, lift the chest, bring the hands back to the legs or to the side, and pull the right knee in, Marichasana 3. Bring the right knee into the chest, lifting the spine, bringing the hand back behind you. Inhale, bring the opposite arm up. Exhale, take the elbow or the upper arm to the outside of the knee, using your arms to help you twist deeper. Stretch through your straight leg. Press down with the back hand, lengthen the spine, lift the chest and twist, looking over the shoulder behind you. Inhale to lengthen and exhale to turn. Inhale, come back to center, switching sides. Draw the other knee in, lift up. Take that same hand behind you and inhale, extend the arm up towards the ceiling, exhale and turn, hooking the elbow to the outside of the leg. Press down with your back hand to lift the chest, then exhale, rotate, turning the head, turning the belly, looking over the shoulder behind you. Inhale, come back to center. Supta Parangustasana. We'll make our way down to the floor, lying on your mat. Bend the right knee into the chest. Strap or hook the big toe with your hand and extend the leg up towards the ceiling. Extend the opposite leg down towards the floor, pressing the thighs away from the body, stretching the legs in opposite directions. Take a breath here. When you're ready, exhale, bring the right leg out to the side, stretching through the inner thigh, keeping the left side of the body heavy grounded down. Keep the right leg as straight as you can and turn the belly away from the leg. Inhale, bring the leg up to the center, bending the left knee, cross the right ankle over the left leg, eye of the needle pose. Draw the left thigh in. Keep the feet flexed to protect the knees. As you pull the knee in, for a deeper stretch, interlace your hands on top of the shin. Release the grip and lower the foot to the floor. Uncross the leg. Supta Padangustasana on the other side. Inhale, extend the left leg up. Exhale and release the right leg down to the floor. Press the right thigh down into the mat as strongly as you can. And then press the left thigh away, stretching the leg up to the side, opening the inner thigh. As the left leg goes out, the right side of the body stays heavy, turning the head away from the leg. Inhale, 
bring the leg up, bending the right knee, crossing the left ankle over the right thigh. Eye of the needle. Draw the right thigh in. Breathing into the outer left hip. Take the alternate clasp of the hands over the shin to deepen the stretch. Release the clasp and lower the foot to the floor. Open the feet as wide as your mat. Windshield wipers. Drop the knees down. And inhaling, bring the knees up. Exhale, lower the knees to the other side. Allowing the knees to go together. Connecting with the breath. When the knees go down, you exhale. When the knees come up, inhale. This releases any residual tension in the lower back or sacrum. Satubandha Sarvangasana, bridge pose. Bring the feet and knees parallel, hip distance apart, and inhale, lift the hips. Tuck the shoulders under you, interlace the hands, press down with the arms, and lift the chest up. Extend from the top of the pelvis through the legs and down into the floor. Pressing the heels down, squeeze the glutes, lifting the hips up, opening the chest. And then exhale, release the hips down to the mat. Bring the knees in to the chest, giving them a gentle hug. And roll the knees in a circle a few times in one direction and then a few times in the other direction after the rotations of the knees. Release the hands out to the side, palms up, and taking a twist, exhale, draw the knees and feet to the right. If you wish to deepen the twist, bring the right hand on top of the knees and draw down turning the belly and head away from the knees. If your back is tight, allow there to be space between the knees, relaxing the feet down to the floor. Inhale, bring the knees back up to center. And exhale, release the legs to the other side. Turning the belly and the head away from the knees, twisting the entire spine. Allow this to be an active twist, moving the hips and the knees away from that opposite shoulder. Inhale, bring the knees back up to center. Place the feet down on your mat as you prepare for Shavasana. Final resting pose. To release the legs down, allow the legs to be as wide as it is comfortable for you, about hip distance apart. As you relax the legs, the toes may turn out, turning the palms up. Tucking the shoulders under you to feel a lift of the chest. And once you've settled into your position, close the eyes and rest.
Inhale. Begin to deepen your breath. Start to slowly move your fingers and toes, creating movement in the body. And bend the knees, placing your feet on the floor. Roll to your right side cradling your head in your arms, taking a few deep breaths. When you're ready, press down and come up. Sukhasana, easy seated pose. Keeping the eyes closed, lengthen through the spine. Bring the palms together at the heart center. Take a few deep breaths in and out, expanding in the heart center. Bowing your head, namaste.